B Makers the Squad was good. Happy July 15th. I know y'all going crazy wherever you at with uh, B Maker 3 and not everybody got it. Just showing you how to export your tracks. Someone just hit me uh, with a question on Instagram on how you export the tracks. Can you export? Okay, so in Obviously what we have here is an entire song. Uh, this is actually a song, a uh, beat I did uh, for one of the world. The first world is my studio. Um, the, the decides to play. We wanna export this. So in order to export, press the three lines right over there. Okay, you'll see a bunch of options at the top. You wanna to go all the way over here where it says export. Press export. Now, this is where it gets fun. Okay, you can either export the master track, which would be a two track, you know, everything all together, or you can export tracks. Now, when you go to export tracks, you need to go in to your different banks. So if I select this here, it selects all, and it allows me to pretty much like have have the banks tracked out. Now, if I want to track each sample or each pad out, like I said before, you hit tracks, then you go into the actual bank and choose the sample that you want, uh, that you want to export it. But if you want all of them exported, uh, so for example, I have two samples in this first uh, bank. If I want both ex uh, exported, individually i'll hit all and so what will happen when when it exports and it gives me a folder you'll see a folder for this one and you'll also see a folder for this one now uh, let's go back to master okay now look below where it says export zone so it asks you where you want it to start and where you want it to end now do you want it to be the loop or do you want it to be the song if it's a song it start up bar one and it will end wherever your song ends and then your export options, you can export a wave at 16, 24, 32 bits, or you can export an AAC file. Uh, with the wave, you are also allowed to normalize it, okay? Trucks, main sample, that one, go back. Drums, wait, drums, give me wait, all of those, okay? Some low pass. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I think it's this one or that one. Okay, go back. Uh, Street Fighter sound effects. I think it's only one sound in there, anyway. So, God, dog it, please. Okay, there we go, there we go. So, I'll just leave that like that. Rising hooks. Uh, that's only two different sounds, or maybe it's not. Okay. And then traffic sound effects, yes. And these kicks, snares, claps, and hi-hats are actually just, um, that's why I was gonna track the beat out. I was gonna track the audio from the samples into the beat, uh, but I just never got around to it. All right, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna do, um, I'm gonna export the loop here. Um, and I'm gonna do AACs because, like I said, I don't have very much space in my uh, I don't have very much space in my iPad, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so there you see the exports available. Now, that was just eight bars, that's why I went so quick. Don't don't get too excited and thinking it's gonna be like that all the time because I do not think it will. All right, so here we are. Uh, oh wait, sorry. In that um, exports folder. Okay, Osley. Uh, today is July 15th, so it says 2017, 07, 15, 05, 8, 50 and 16 seconds. That's precise, man. So here you go, hey, uh, you can see all the files that there is. There's a traffic, there's a riser, Street Fighter. Uh, not sure what that is. Oh, that's the um, the filtered bass, it's the sign wave, the, uh, the sub bass. Uh, it's a hi-hat, 
another hi-hat, a snap, a snap, a kick, a snare, and a main sample. Now, if I wanted to, I could combine some of those sounds together via banks. So for example, like if I had an open hi-hat and a closed hi-hat, I would definitely send those two to the same, um, to the same track, okay? So I hope this helps you with exporting your beats from Beatmaker 3. I'm out of here, peace.